Previously on The Potentialists. I'm about to take a ride. <laughs> so you lied? Yes. <laughs> it's just one of those days where everything kind of goes wrong. You're killing somebody's storage unit. Anyone can entertain you, but only we edutain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Get ready to make it happen. I am pretty much alone at the bow house, except for Dylan, who's upstairs playing Xbox. So for all intents and purposes, I'm alone. For now, let's have a meeting. The other kids are out playing basketball, I think. Eric is hanging out with his dad. And I'm not sure where LJ went, but I know he's not here. Alex has left me to cook dinner. For those who don't know, she's not a good cook. Just season them and use the Foreman Grill. Right, I don't know how to cook. I only know how to nuke things. In fact, I um, actually screwed up hard boiling eggs the other day. But Alex left the seasoning out for me. She didn't tell me how much of it to go on though. How much garlic powder do you think should go on pork chops? Oregano. And complete seasoning. Interesting. You would assume complete seasoning would already include the other things. It should. Does this thing have settings on it? No. I'm thinking I'm gonna test out one before I cook them all. What do you think? It sounds like a good idea in theory. So while that is quote unquote cooking, I'm going to use my magical skills and Google how long George Foreman how long you should George Foreman a piece of pork? Pork chops. Grill until only slightly pink in center. About six to eight minutes. I have no idea when I started. I still have no idea what time it is. These are the times when I really wish I'd paid more attention to my mother and listened to her when she wanted to teach me how to cook. Or even listened to my ex-husband who knew how to cook. Oh crap. That looks slightly burnt. It's supposed to be slightly pink in the middle and probably not that hard. That's not slightly pink in the middle at all. That is completely cooked. Well, I guess the only way to really test it would be for me to test it. I have baked cake. It was, and it took Valerie exactly 21 chews before she finally spoke. And when she did, she said, It's hot. It's actually not that bad. So this time I put in four, but I've also set a timer. I know. I know how to think ahead, right? Valerie doesn't belong in the kitchen except to clean up. Okay, these look a little less burnt. They even have me cooking for the dogs. See? Mix. Mmm. There is my finished product. They at least look kind of good, right? They sure did. I've known Eric for years. We kind of debate whether I've known him since we were five or he's known me since we were, I think, eight or so, but I'm pretty sure it was five. But anyway, I've known him for years. So for our sizzle reel, which I hope you guys have seen by this point, one of the things I had to do was get a um, photo of Val from her from one of our yearbooks. So I brought in a whole collection of yearbooks. But you forgot to mention that uh, you were in those yearbooks. I may have been in the yearbook. May have been, huh? How come Valerie seems to be very, very sure that you were in this book? He purposely omitted the fact that he was in the yearbooks as well. And well, I had to fix that. There's Eric! No! That's Kindergarten yes. Eric, and that's Kindergarten Valerie. Bert and Alexa have an amazing design mind, and they've designed this gorgeous backyard with this beautiful bathroom and shower and all of this stuff, and it's great, unless you get stuck in it. Where have you been? <laughs> stuck in the bathroom. <laughs> oh, no. I told and you I was, I was like, here something about the bathroom. I was trying to see if I could figure out how to climb up. I could stand up on the toilet, but I didn't want to stand up on the top part, so I was like, I don't have my phone. I have nothing to throw. You have no phone. No. I like, think I'm crazy. Eric, yeah. I know you're right there. No. Help! This went on Help. for at least 30 minutes. Help! You're saying it's a parrot. It's a parrot. I swear it's a parrot. It's not, it's not anything. It wasn't a parrot. Later, after the bathroom debacle, Jenny and Sabrina decided to engage in a water balloon fight. Wait, let me see. I want to try. And the fight was on. <laughs> That's what we did to have fun for the 
save time busting our butts. Yeah. Then after the exhaustive fight, we can get in and watch a movie. I can't swim. We could. We hope. Yo, how you doing? Check this out, it's Serge from Bowl World. You better like us. And if you got something to say, leave a comment. And check this out, if you really got the guts, subscribe so I can get back to you so we can make it happen with Bowl World. Feel me?